All right, so this is a little geometry video on angles, and we're going to find the angles between the hands of a clock at each of these times. We're going to start with some simple ones, okay? Let's look at 6 o'clock. Here's your short hand. Here's your long hand. Obviously, you know, you're exactly on the 6, exactly on the 12 when you're right on the hour. So that's going to be a 180 degree angle. Really simple. It doesn't take any calculation. What about 3 o'clock? All right, minute hand on the hour is the 12, and the hour hand is going to be right on whatever the hour is, 3. All right, that's kind of obviously a 90 degree angle. All right, you can, you can just see that the 3 is directly to the right, 12 is directly up. What about 1 o'clock? Again, on the hour, your minute hand is on the 12. On the hour, your hour hand is on exactly what number you have. Now, this one's a little, little tougher. Well, let's see how we can you know, piece this together. You, you could see that, okay, look, 3 o'clock was half of 6 o'clock. And look, this angle was half of the 6 o'clock angle. So you could do it with proportions if you want to, and you could see that, all right, well, 1 o'clock is one-third of 3 o'clock, so you might piece, oh, maybe that'd be one-third of 90, but let's look at it a different way. So I'm thinking it might be 30 degrees. Look at this. Let's separate, let's separate it into 12 pieces, right? We have, you know, 12 numbers, and it's a circle, um, so it's going to be separated into 12. I'm going to call these, you know, sectors, okay? We have different sectors of this clock. You can think of them as uh, little wedges. So if you look at, like this would be the 1 o'clock wedge right here. I want to find that angle right here. Well, how much is a full circle? How many degrees is a full circle? If you said 360 degrees, you'd be correct. So one full circle is 360 degrees. How many little wedges are there? There are 12. So that means that each of these wedges, since they're all the same size, right? They're all the same size here, would be 30 degrees. So one little wedge would be 30 degrees. So one o'clock would be 360 degrees. You know, two o'clock, uh, one o'clock would be 30 degrees. Two o'clock would be 60 degrees. Three o'clock would be 90 degrees, which is what we have here. You know, four o'clock would be uh, 120. Five o'clock would be 150. All right, what about, what about seven o'clock? Okay, you might think, oh, well, if six o'clock is 180. Then we add 30 each time, you get 240. Oh, be careful, at 7 o'clock, let's change this to 7 o'clock. Don't forget that you get, you get to measure this angle, right? The interior angle. You don't want to measure the long thing, which would be, yes, it would be 210. You want to do 360 minus 210, which would give you 150. So it kind of go right back to what it was at 5 o'clock. All right, those are the ones that are on the hour. Those are pretty simple. What about at the half hour? Okay, so that, that presents a whole new set of problems. So... At the half hour, where's your minute hand? Your minute hand's pointing right at the six, right? Halfway through the clock. This is, you know, zero here. This is your 15 minute mark. This is your 30 minute mark. You know, 45 minute mark. Each number represents five minutes. Now, where is your hour hand? It's not going to be on the three, is it? It's going to be past, I'm not on the one. I mean, it's going to be past the one. In fact, it'll be right halfway between the one and the two. How do I know it's halfway? Well, there's 60 minutes in an hour, and we've gone 30 out of 60 of those minutes. So you reduce this fraction, you get one half. Okay? So what this is is um, going halfway between here. Now, let me, I like prefer to separate my little sectors here. I'm going to draw each little piece. So this is, there's a sector, there's a sector, there's a sector. All right, and, you know, there and there are some sectors. Now, notice here, all right, we're going all the way. If you go, want to take this angle between the hour hand and the minute hand, we go this full sector between the 5 and the 6. That's 30. Okay, another 30. Another 30. Another 30 between the 3 and the 2. But not a full 30 between, you know, where the 2 is and the hour hand is. So 30, 60, 90. We have 120 degrees, which is, there's three 30-degree sectors. You know, 30 times 4. But this is only half of, notice how this is half of that sector, right? Half. So it would be 30 times 4, which is 120, plus 15, which would give you 135 degrees. Do the same thing here. Again, 30 over 60 is a half. So we're, you know, our minute hand is still, you know, right on the 6. Our hour hand is going to be not on the 8, but halfway between the 8 and the 9. So, and let me draw my little my little sectors here. So between the 6 and the 7, I go all the way there. Between the 7 and the 8, I go all the way there. I don't go all the way from the 8 to the 9. I only go halfway. 
So there's a full 30, a full 30, and then halfway. So it's 2 times 30, which is 60, plus halfway is 15. That's 75 degrees would be the angle formed at 830. Let's do 1230, okay? See if you can do this one again. Minute hand directly on the 6. All right, 6 times 5 is 30. That's why it's on the 6. Halfway between the hour and the, the 12 and the 1 is where the hour hand is. Again, I don't. I like to draw my, each of my little sectors there. Full sector, full sector, full sector, full sector, between the 2 and the 1, full sector. Not a full sector between the 1 and the 12 because we only go halfway, so there's 15. And then all of these are 30, 30, 60, 90, uh, 120, 150. So it's 150 plus half of this sector. Remember, half, how do I know it's 15 each of these times? Because a full sector, remember a full sector is, you know, 30 degrees. Full sector is 30 degrees. So half a sector would be 15 degrees. That's why that's I'm doing, you know, here I'm doing 30 times 5, 5 full sectors, plus half of 30, which is just a reduced fraction of 30 times 5 plus 30 over 360, uh, uh, 30 over 60, I'm sorry, times 30, because it's half of that hour. So I get 165 degrees at 1230. Let's do some ones where it's a 15 minute mark, okay? Again, first thing you want to do is draw your hands, minute hand dead on the three. All right, how, I know I'm past the one, right? I'm not on the one, I'm not all the way to the two. All right, you're... How far past? It's not halfway. It's actually half a halfway. So you could probably see that way that it's going to be a 30. But I want you to just picture we're 15 minutes out of 60 minutes. That's why it's one fourth past whatever your hour is, the one. That's why you go that far past. So let's draw our sectors all. Now we'd have a whole sector uh, between the two and the three. We don't have a whole sector between the two and the one. Now, careful which way you measure. Let's see. This is a whole 30 degrees. Now, which way is which? See, this is one-fourth past the one, which means we have three-quarters of the way. If we're one-fourth of the way, that means we're three-fourths of the way till we get to the between the hour hand and the two. And that's actually the part you care about. So even though uh, if you want to find out what each little piece is, you take 30, which is one whole sector, right, 30. Divide that by, instead of half, divide it by four, you get 7.5. So this part would be 7.5, but we don't care about this space. We care about this space right here. And of course, the part that's 30, like, you know, that one's easy to calculate. So we actually care about this is 30. And I want to do 30 minus 7.5, which gives you 22.5. So this is actually 22.5 here. Add those together, you get 50. 2.5 degrees. Try it with the 815. Okay, now I want to do my minute hand first because that's easy. All right, 815. All right, I'm a quarter past the 8, and I like to draw each of my little sectors. There's a full sector between the 3 and the 4, between the 4 and the 5, full, 6 and 7, full, 7 and 8, still full. And this time, I am going actually, I am measuring that quarter part. Remember that quarter? is uh, seven, that looks like a 17, I don't know why it looks like that. Seven, oh, okay, I was marking, there we go, I was marking like the little, shading it like I am here. So this part right here, you know, this red part, that's 7.5 degrees, because it's a quarter of, I'm a quarter past the eight, so I'm going a quarter of that 30 degrees. So I have one, two, three, four, five full sectors, so, 5 times 30, which is 150, plus I add my 7.5, so it's 157.5 degrees. That's it. Now, let's do 345. Again, it's easy to start with the minute hand. 45 means you're right on the 9. All right, how far past the 3 am I? I'm like, I'm almost all the way to the 4, right? In fact, I'm over halfway past. I'm 3 quarters past. How do I know that it's 3 quarters past? Because it's 45 over 60. So I'm going to take these piece at a time. All right, between the 9 and the 8, 8 and 7, 7 and 6, 6 and 5, and 5 and 4, I'm going full sectors there. So those are all, those are all 30s here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 full 30s. Okay, just like a quarter of this thing is 7.5, well, if we look at this full sector right here, which would be 30, 
it's broken up into you know a fourth part and a three fourths part. Remember the fourth part is seven point five. Three fourths part is twenty two point five. But I care about the seven point five part because that's the part that's in between these two hands. So it's five times thirty degrees, your full sectors, plus seven point five. So it'd be one fifty plus seven point five. It'd actually be the same thing here. Interesting. So one fifty seven point five degrees. Let's do some that are a little different, right? A little more challenging. Now, 920, again, I always want to start with my minute hand. 20, remember, uh, 20 is 5 times 4. All right, 9. How far past the 9 do I go? All right, I know at, you know, 30, I'd be halfway. 20, I'm not quite halfway, but just not quite halfway isn't accurate enough. But do the same thing we did at 30, right? It was 30 over 60, reduced to 1 half. What if it was 15 over 60? Reduce to 1 fourth. Here, do 20 over 60, which reduces to 1 third. That means I'm 1 third past the 9. I'm 1 third of the way past the 9, which is 1 third of a whole. 1 third of a whole sector would be 30 degrees, okay? Which is, remember, we got that 30 degrees by 360 divided by 12, okay? So... I'm gonna again I always like to count my full sectors. That's full, full two, full number three, full sector number four, full sector number five. And then this is all right, 20 over 60, one third. It's one third of 30 of means multiplication. So one third of 30 is 10 degrees. So this part right here, that's 10 degrees. All of these right here are 30 degrees each. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that's 150 plus 10, so you get 160 degrees. Okay, still it, it reduces to a nice fraction. What about ones that don't reduce to a nice fraction? All right, first let's do our minute hand. Now remember, your minute hand, this would be 30 at the 6, minute hand at the 8 would be 40. So you go kind of like two notches back, that would be 38. On a clock, you might see these sometimes, like between the 7 and the 8, 2, three, four, they'll have like those notches and they'll have like like a big notch of the seven, which is 35. This would be 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. So the, the 38 would be, it would be kind of pointing toward this one right here. I know I don't have quite pointing there, but you, you get the idea, you get the illustration. But the same thing we did before, put how many minutes you are past the hour over the full hour. So I'm 38 sixtieths of an hour, I'm 38 60, it's past the two, so that means my my hour hand is, and just to get me a picture, I'll know I'm a little more than half past the two. Okay, there's my hour hand, I'm a little more than half past. So it's always, again, I, I want to draw my sectors to help me organize this because I have two difficult sectors here. Let me count all my fulls. So I have, uh, I have one, two, three, four full sectors. Now here are my challenge areas. This sector right here, and like that little wedge right there, and this, you know, fraction of a wedge, fraction of a sector right here. Okay, let's. All right, we, we got the full, you know, four full thirties. That's easy. Okay, so I've got thirty times four. All right, plus now this thing right here between the seven and the eight. Let's see. I'm, I'm thirty eight sixtieths. Um, you know, I, well actually, uh, I don't need to do. Not, I don't use thirty eight sixtieths here. All right, this is I'm. Three out of the five minutes past, you know, this section right here. So the thing is, um, if I was right on the eight, you know, that would be five fifths past the seven. But I would just, you know, use the fraction for eight. But here's the thing: this is I'm three fifths of the way because you know, this would be two thirty-five plus three minutes. So I'm three out of the five minutes all to the eight. So this one, this yellow one right here, is three fifths of a full sector would be 30 degrees. That's how you get your yellow one. Okay, how do we get the blue one? Well, I'm 38 sixtieths, 38 sixtieths past the two, so I'm 38 sixtieths. And you gotta be careful here, because actually I want the, I don't want the 38 sixtieths part. I actually want the other part, so I'm actually gonna do, if you can bear with me, our 60 minus 38 would be uh, 22, or was that 12, uh, yeah, 22 sixtieths. Here's why I'm writing 22 sixtieths, because I don't want 
38 60 it's would give me how far I am past the 2 so that means I'm 60 minus 38 I'm 22 68 60 it's from the hour hand to the 3 you know that other part of the the sector so I do this times 30 and that again that is the blue sector the reason I did that because I don't want I don't want the green the green part would be 38 over 60 times you know 30 that would be how far I am past the two but remember you always measure the interior of the angles like that and then we can calculate uh, this out on our calculators so I'm gonna do that on my TI-84 mm -mm. All right, so I'm going to throw this into my calculator. Got my T84 here. You can actually throw this in all in at once. 30 times 4 plus 3 fifths. If you want to do a fraction, it's the division sign. Times 30. You don't need the parentheses. I know it looks weird. Uh, plus, I'm going to do, now, remember, the reason I do 22 sixtieths is because I want the, you know, the second part of that. I don't want the 38 sixtieths part. Do that times 30. And then I get 149. So this is going to be 100. 49 degrees is the angle formed right here. Last one, all right, 817, all right? So let's, always always easier to do the minute hand first. 17 is, it's gonna be two notches past the three, so 15 would be perfectly on the three. I wanna do two notches past the three, so 16, 17. Again, sometimes you'll see clocks, solid line here, big, thick line here, and then you'll see like one, two, three, four, that would be 16, 17, 18, 19, and then the other solid notch is the 20. So I'm um, 17 sixtieths. You should have that by now. And that this many parts of 60 past the eight. My hour hands the eight. So I want to go 17 sixtieths past the eight. That's actually a little less than two thirds. Okay, so I'm gonna go 17 sixtieths. So let me draw up my complete sectors. Between the uh, between the eight and the seven is a full sector. Seven and six full sector. Between six and five, and five and four full sectors. The problem areas are okay. This is a only partial sector. The yellow. This is only partial sector. The blue. All right. How do I get the partial sector of the yellow here? Well, it's how far I am. This is the hour hand. I know I drew it a little long. How far I am past the eight. I'm 1760, it's past the 8. A full sector would be 30 degrees. So my yellow part is 17 over 60 times 30. That's my yellow part. And I'm going to do my, my, here I did my full sectors first, but I'm going to do my full sectors next. So that's 30, 30, 30, 30. There's four of those again. So four times 30, that's my full sectors. Plus my blue sector, okay, so here's the thing. How far I am? Um, you see how I'm two fifths because uh, you know this is a, a minute. You know, uh, you know, with the, if it was on the three fifty minutes, but two past it. I don't want the two fifths though. That would give me the green part up above. I want in this case, I want the three fifths part again. So I want three fifths of thirty degrees. So, and I'm going to throw this into my. That's my blue part. Throw this into my TI eighty four. I've got 17 sixtieths times 30 plus 4 times 30 plus 3 fifths times 30 and I get 146, 146.5 degrees. All right. That's the end of this part of the lecture. Yeah! The user commits his best in this video, actually, those are Mr. Vogel, you're not necessarily a fact, those are the schools of the secret heart of Mark Atelis, blood of the lectures, administration, and the secret heart schools, or anyone else. Visit our website at sshcoto.org.